We talk every week with people that are making a difference in business and jobs, and arguably, as we always say, that the uh, the folks that really make a difference set the set the tone and 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 set the agenda to to allow businesses to succeed are the folks in public office, the people that we elect, and we always encourage people, uh, listeners, of get down to business to get involved, stay involved, and and our next guest is somebody that has gotten involved, has gotten has has stayed involved, and encourages people to step up and be a part of that public process. And uh, we're talking with David Stolman, a candidate for Lake County Treasurer. David, thanks for joining us on Get Down to Business. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Shalom, thank you for the opportunity, and uh, uh, good morning to everybody. Fantastic. So, David, um, you've been uh, you've been doing this public thing for a little while. You you have a track record. You've been involved in you've been in public office for a while. Tell us about your track record on the Lake County Board and and actually as chairman of the Lake County Board. Well, uh, specifically, it started uh, in 1992. Uh, I'm an attorney. I'm a businessman. I wanted to get involved. I got first elected uh, as a county representative representing. Uh, my area of the county, they're all single member districts, and my area happens to be Buffalo Grove and Long Grove, and uh, part of the unincorporated area called Prairie View. Uh, it started in 1992. Uh, I, I, I brought uh, uh, some value added. I think leadership recognized that and, and actually promoted me into uh, various leadership uh, positions. I've served as chairman of, uh, of so many different committees from law and judicial, uh, transportation. These have always been very, very important. Uh, uh, committees for me to serve on. Um, probably the most important uh, at that point in time was I uh, got a chance to serve on the finance committee, and then ultimately uh, became chairman of the finance committee. Uh, went on to be vice chair of the county board, and I just finished my tenure as uh, the county board chairman. Um, I've always made economic development uh, my primary focus. Uh, I'm a staunch physical conservative. Uh, I've worked uh, really to improve services while cutting spending and helping taxpayers. Uh, with a much, you know, much needed relief, and um, economic development, I think, is a key to success uh, with regard to Lake County. Uh, uh, just to, you know, talk to, about a couple different points, I uh, was uh, helpful in the, uh, obviously economic development. I helped create something called Lake County Partners. Uh, I think you're familiar with it. It's a not-for-profit. It works hand in hand with the county government uh, to create uh, and retain quality jobs and improve the county's business climate. Uh, it's a public-private partnership that, that really uh, uh, has been um, receiving accolades throughout the, count, uh, throughout the country uh, for its uh, degree of, uh, of um, you know, in economic development. And um, from the county perspective, uh, uh, we should be very, very proud in Lake County. Uh, we have a balanced budget to help create that. <clears throat> we have a AAA bond rating, uh, which is uh, extraordinarily hard to get and, and certainly hard to maintain. Um, and we have done well in Lake County. I'm, I'm proud to say that it's a great place to work and live and, and raise your families. It, it is. And, uh, David, you've been involved in making that happen. What is the, uh, what, what are the, what's the legislation, what's the areas that you're most proud of, of, of accomplishing in Lake County? I know you, you mentioned a few of those examples, Lake County Partners being a great example of that public-private partnership. But what is the one thing that you're sort of most proud of? Probably the most is the balanced budget. I mean, that's uh, you know we have a half a billion dollar budget. Uh, uh, if you look around, uh, you see various other counties, uh, you see our, our state, you see our, our federal government. Uh, to say that you have a balanced budget, it's it's uh, it's rare indeed to say that. And that experience and, and led you to uh, to decide to run for Lake County Treasurer, um, well, which is exciting. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, basically, the gentleman by the name of uh, Bob Skidmore uh, is retiring. He's uh, been a longtime uh, county treasurer. I hope to succeed him. He set a high benchmark for for value and, and uh, responsibility. And I figured, uh, from from my perspective, again, just having finished my term as as a county board chairman, where uh, I have a, a perfect entree to the treasurer's office. I know county government. I know how it works. Uh, I've been responsible for for balancing the county budget, and uh, I, I think this is uh, uh, just one more step in in, in uh, serving the public. That's exciting. So, David, you are a guy, as I know, that that has a lot of contacts from your experience in government. You know how to put those contacts to work on behalf of the people of Lake County. And uh, what are some of the initiatives that you would like to implement if the voters uh, decide to elect you as their treasurer in Lake County? 
Well, obviously, from from a, an experience point of view, I think uh, my experience uh, stands for itself. Uh, I'm hoping to become uh, the county treasurer, and and by doing that, I would hope that uh, transparency would be another key function. I would hope to bring uh, you know a greater degree of, of technology uh, into the office to make things more efficient. Uh, they are efficient right now, but obviously, technology changes all the time. And uh, one of the things I think that I, that I would like to also concentrate on is uh, being an ambassador for economic development. Um, you know, besides uh, carrying on Lake County's legacy of the responsibility, one of the things that I think that, that uh, uh, is foremost in my mind has been very, very near and dear in my heart is uh, uh, I led the charge for the extension of Route 53. I, I was able to get a referendum on the ballot uh, a couple of years ago uh, by a huge majority, 76% of the People who responded uh, said that they wanted 53. 53 is a uh, highway on the west side of, uh, of basically the uh, Cook County and, and uh, it extends only up until Lake Cook Road. And then we're looking to extend it from Lake Cook Road up to uh, Route 120. That would open, uh, open a whole new corridor for economic growth in Lake County. It's been around, Shalom, probably for since the 1960s. It's been uh, kicked around and kicked around and and now it's a point where it's being studied uh, pretty aggressively by the tollway. Um, I was lucky enough to be appointed a co-chair of the Blue Ribbon Committee that uh, that really studied 53. We put together um, a group uh, uh, of environmentalists and developers and municipal folks um, and some elected officials, and uh, along with a gentleman by the name of George Rainey, who uh, uh, was uh, uh, my co-chair, uh, we we re- really put together a position paper. We forwarded it over to the toll road, and now we're actually into uh, looking for. Uh, we split into various things. Uh, financial uh, is is re- meeting right now, and ultimately we'll have a report from the toll road, and the toll road will um, hopefully adopt it as as a project uh, for for swift uh, conclusion. Mm-hmm. And uh, if we build fifty three. You know, uh, God bless. I'm, I'm, I would just be thrilled. Well, you've got some great proposals. So you, you've won the Republican nomination for the Lake County Treasurer uh, yeah. office, and, and now it's on to the general uh, general election. Up until recently, if I'm not mistaken, you didn't even have an opponent um, because the Democrat on the ballot uh, dropped off the ballot. But now... Well, that, is, that is correct. You're right. I, I do have an opposition now. And uh, obviously, since the time of the primary, from, from uh, straight through the primary, I've just been uh, running as a candidate uh, where I had the... Uh, I, I knew that there was going to be opposition, and I've just been doing my thing and, and just making sure that I'm attentive to all the uh, uh, community needs and uh, serving the taxpayers. And, and again, uh, running for this office, uh, it, to me, is a pleasure. It, it's an absolute pleasure. It's an honor to run for this office. That's great. So over the next few months before the election in November, you're going to be at a lot of community events. Um, I'm sure people will be seeing you around. How can people reach out to you to share their concerns, ideas, issues, and of course, get involved in the campaign? Well, you are very, very kind. First of all, David Stallman, D-A-V-I-D-S-T-O-L-M-A-N.com is one way to reach me. Uh, Phone number 847-920-7865. Uh, is a very, very easy way. I, look, I, Shalom, I, I'm probably one of the few uh, elected officials ever that have had uh, my home phone number listed always. Uh, I've always been available. I used to kid around with people saying 29 hours a day, nine days a week, but basically that's it. Um, you know, I'm, I, I respond to people immediately. Uh, I try to, you know, help solve problems that, uh, uh, that uh, are, are county-related. And if the Listeners, the good listeners of your program, uh, like what they hear. Uh, clearly, they have friends in Lake County, or perhaps they live in Lake County, or they have kids who live in Lake County who are voters, and if they could just pass that information on that uh, they heard me. Uh, if there's any questions, I'm always free to answer uh, and speak to groups. I've been doing this um, uh, all of my life. And, and it's funny because you caught me at a time where I'm actually running out to uh, a parade in Lake Forest. Lake Forest Parade starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, there's parades uh, over the weekend in Lindenhurst and, and Gurney and Grays Lake next week. So, you know, there's there's a multitude of things where I uh, reach out to the public and, uh, you know, again, reacquaint myself. I've been around for a long time, so there's been a, a high degree of integrity and people are familiar with the name. 
Um, I was just up in North Chicago to pray, and people are shouting out to, you know, hey, David, hey, David. Well, people know you. You're involved in, in, the, in, in life in Lake County, and we're excited to uh, share your story with uh, listeners of Get Down to Business. So, again, um, if you want to get in touch with David Stillman, reach out to him through the website, get involved in the campaign. As we always say, get involved with folks running for public office, people in public office. This is the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. Let's get down to business.